How are we going guys? I am Joe. Woo! And I'm Catherine. We are full-time adventure YouTubers. We've been living out of our small boat, traveling around paradise, surviving off the ocean. And we've been documenting the whole thing for you guys to watch. It's been one heck of a ride guys. We're so stoked to bring it to you. You can expect to see all of this on today's episode. This is camp. You got your coffee in you. Just seen a kingy in the school of fish over here. There's a big king here somewhere, guys. This is going to be a good spot to spend the arvo, guys. Okay, some big fish come in. Oh, what was that? With the aim of getting lunch and dinner tonight. Here go. Have fun. Joe is there. Is there? Oh, yep. Look at that. Cast down there, Captain. There is. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, guys. Woo! Joe seems to be able to hold his breath. For so long. Oh my goodness, it's right down there. Can you see him? We're gonna fill that fish up now. Tell them about the stingray. Yeah, or maybe a shark could turn up. That'd be cool. Fill that. I'm excited. This looks really good, Cheers. eh? Oh, oh look. Oh, oh. Get the kingy rod. Get the king rod. Oh, oh, look at that. Chasing it. Yeah, right there, Kevin. I'm excited about it. I think we'll be good. So make sure you stick around, guys, because there's a whole lot of videos coming right up. We're going on a adventure. Let's go. G'day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. We're just trying to find a place to camp for the night. Just pulled into this nice little bay. What do you reckon of this? That looks amazing. We're going to just cruise up, park in the shallows here, and just have a little look to see if this is our destination for the night. Wonderful. All right, guys, let's jump off. Let's have a look. Whew. Oh, no. What is it? A fish. A fish? Yeah. Really? Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, sheesh. What is that? Uh, Marlin. See fish just in here, guys. All right. Man, what a cool place. I reckon we're going to call this home tonight, guys. It's about 8 o'clock. Sun has disappeared behind the, behind the hill behind us, as you can see. So, just in time, we found our campsite for the night, eh, Catherine? Yep. I'm trying not to let. Right, we'll take that stuff ashore. Just going to pump up the paddleboard. I'm gonna go set the anchor, come back in on the paddleboard. I think that'll be better than swimming in at this time of night. Done it! It's hard work. Gonna give me a push off, Catherine. Just gotta find a place to anchor now, guys. Four meters. I reckon that's probably right. Be good enough here guys should be safe i just don't know how low that tide gets so i'd like to have it a bit closer to camp just a little bit unsure about how low that water's going to get tonight see you boat feel like i'm going to fall off it's quite hard to film and paddleboard <laughs> it's always good when you don't fall in right let's get this gear to the camp spot where do you reckon we camp this little spot doesn't look too bad Bit of wild pig sign. How's that? You can see where they've dug up the ground with their nose, looking for grubs and worms and things like that. It's a cool little spot right there. I reckon this spot here looks nice. <laughs> Coconut, anyone? <laughs> that sign. Yeah. That sign saying there's poison in the area. They must have laid poison up in the forest i take it see the wild pig signs just here right, have a look lots of bush up there for them yeah that sign says um 1080 poison you come to a remote place like this and you see a, a poison sign we're going to put the tent right here guys all right tent set up guys this camp mother hubba three person from msr in a perfect little bay 
Cool. All right, which side do you want? This side looks a bit higher, so I'll take that. Wait, so you roll on me? Yeah, it's better than you rolling on me. <laughs> Welcome to our night at camp, guys. Catherine's just setting up the beds. Oh, yes. That's good. We're going to enjoy the rest of the evening. So the camera's going off. We're going to enjoy our moment. We'll catch you guys nice and early in the morning. Good morning, guys. All right, we're up nice and early. Look how good it looks out there this morning. First light, we're gonna head over and throw some big lures at some bombies. See if we can get a big fish bite early in the morning. All right, let's go, guys. Beautiful morning. Old mates were partying pretty hard last night and he launched. <laughs> Have a look, fish over there. Okay, when you're ready, give us the push and jump on. Okay. Oh, fish right here, guys. I'm going to cast a lure at it, see if there's any kingies hanging out. Looks like Trevally and maybe Kawai. Foul hog one. Oh. All right, guys, we've just seen a kingy in the school of fish over here. We'll try and get a bite. Oh, oh look at this. Little kingy. There's a big kingy in there somewhere, guys. Cast at this bomb, just as we're going past. Drops off so steep. Mm. 
Little fish. Man, there's lots of little fish here. Coffee time, Captain. They taste good. How's this coffee view? Quite good. Is it right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Finally got your coffee in you. We had kiwis last night. Yeah, there's kiwis around us, so that's real cool. Yeah. Caught anything? Yeah. Catch us some lunch. Right. right the pressure's oh, on. Or should we? Wonder if we should go around the corner, take the paddleboard and the spearfishing stuff, try to get some lunch. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. Should we? Oh, I want to ask. Okay. Just all the water, like with these glasses, they, it looks like neon. It's really cool. <laughs> it does look nice. A couple of rocks here. So we'll anchor maybe 40 meters out there, Captain. Sure thing. We'll anchor out here in the sandy bit, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll drop the pick here, boysies. Cool. How deep are we? Right. 4.8 meters. Turn the motor off. We're here. This is the spot. Let's go. <laughs> We've got a couple of fishing rods too, just in case. We've got a heavy set up in case some big fish come in. Oh, what was that? Against the um, rock there. What it look like? It's seaweed, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a big fin. Oh, how exciting. But no, it was. Wow, could be some big fish come through here. So we've got a heavy set up and we've also got the light set up. Spear gun, paddle board, with the aim of getting lunch and dinner tonight. Hey guys, have fun. Bye. And there he goes. So we're off paddle boarding. It's gonna be fun. And that's the bow back there. Cool, a huge crack. How you going? Huh? Good? Yeah. There's a fish here. Cool, look at these guys. There's um, a bluefish with a white dot and a stripy one. Crayfish. Okay. 
I had a hold of him, but couldn't get him out. I'll keep going around this point here. There's a few pretty good looking little ledges covered off it. All right. Cool. I'm going to follow you. That's the cave. Cool. That's cool. Wow. Something good. Joe is there. Joe seems to be able to hold his breath for so long. Oh my goodness, he's right down there. Can you see him? Look at him go! Oh, he's underneath me. Hopefully Joe finds something soon. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I thought you fell over. He held it up and looked bright red. He's coming over to show me. I'm excited. Yay! We've got dinner! What is We've it? We've got dinner. What is it? It's a red pigfish. A red pigfish. Cool! I haven't eaten one of these since I was a kid, so. That's exciting. I'm excited about it. It's so red. I can't yeah, believe real it. red, eh? It's amazing colour. I can't believe how red it is. Then I am sorted. Yeah, boys. Yeah. How red it is. <laughs> it's so red compared to um, the ocean. Oh, my goodness. Look at his teeth. Yeah. Oh. I'm excited because I am starving. Camps. That way. Take him to camp. <laughs> Same, I'm hungry you as. Need a red fish, red's my favourite colour. Yeah, it? that fish is my favourite colour. Home sweet home, guys. Okay. Are you ready? So, Joe's just um, anchoring the boat. He's going to take the paddleboard in. That there is the paddleboard, and that's Joe. So I don't think he's going to be taking the paddleboard in today. I think he's going to get wet. <laughs> I'll go grab it for him. Didn't go to plan, guys. The ride sailed off without me. <laughs> yeah. How silly is that, Catherine? That was really funny. Lucky I'm in my wetsuit. It's alright, I've rescued it! A little bit of sun left. We're gonna fill that fish up now. Real nice white flesh. I haven't eaten one of these since I was a kid. When this one swam around me today, I just couldn't resist. I remember them being really nice, so we'll find out pretty shortly. Man, this is a bit different than that kingy. Yeah. We really need to do that again. <laughs> yeah. 
We should show these guys. We had a pretty sweet kingy session just recently. Always cool to see big fish turn up on the lures. Just me and Catherine out there. What? It wasn't too long ago. I'll put those clips on now. Catherine and I have just hiked out to this ledge out here. We're just setting up the gear now. So just put the rods together. Pretty marginal conditions at the moment. Got a little swell rolling. Um, we've got a crosswind, but the water is blue. The water is good temperature, so I'm pretty pumped to see some nice water. We should see kingfish today. I'm going to catch the biggest kingy you have ever seen. <laughs> I've got my heavy setup today. I've got the Soltiga 18,000, and I've got the Soltiga C85-8 rod. So we're going heavy today, guys. kathy has got her Daiwa 14,000 MQ Saltus, which she really loves, by the way. She keeps saying it on a spartan rod we're going for some big fish today guys and you guys come with us we're up in the bay of islands and it is summertime christmas time there is boats everywhere we're not sure how this is going to go we're hoping that it's not going to put the fish off too much anyway let's go over cast be really cool to see a really big fish like an abnormally big fish for this area yeah it is, because I'd rather the fish to bite right here, but also if I make a lot of commotion out there, it brings them in and then when I get to about here I'll start slowing it down. Because I don't really want them to hit it way out there. Oh yep! Look at that, cast down there Kevin. He's turning, he'll see you lower, slow down. Where'd he go? Oh, he's on it! <laughs> yep! He's done it! He's right here! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Oh! There you go, watch this, he'll bite this. He'll show up, here he is! Yep! <laughs> yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, he's got some balls! Oh my god! Uh. Holy shit! She's got some grunts on for a little fish. Um, we'll see where he ends up first. Maybe there's some power to him. There he is. Oh, it's not that bad. What if this is a different one? Ah. It looks bigger than that other one, eh? Yeah. yeah it's bigger than the yeah, other one. Yeah, he's way bigger. Way bigger. No wonder he went so hard. <laughs> yeah, he's a good fish. Where do you want me to go? Um, hang on a sec, I'll just tire him out first. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Yeah, Catherine. <laughs> he's a good fish. Oh, yeah, guys. Woo! We thought he was that little fish, but. He was just peeling like. Pretty stoked, pretty stoked with that. Pink Panther OTL 100 gram chop got the bite. All right, let's get him in the water, quick. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Nice guys, stoked after that. Pink Panther OTL got the bite guys. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna check my leader and I'm getting straight back in there. Just quickly too guys. Catherine and I are actually after a good eating fish to take home. One to release, you always gotta let the first one go, and then we get a second one, and that one, if it's a good eating size, we're gonna take that home. Get the lures back in the water. <laughs> Let's get one to take home. I might swap handles. Give my other arm a workout. Oh. Is that what I'm thinking of? Oh! 
Yep. Yeah. Down turn! Down turn! Got a king of God. I wonder if I land this one. That's right. Bring the line down there. Okay. Oh yes, guys! Woohoo! Yeah! It's a good eating size. Real good eating size. Oh. Perfect eating size fish, so we're going to take this one home. So stoked with that, I had a real lock drag, so he didn't pull any line, I just stayed right on top of him, kept him on the surface. I've just put that fish out of his misery and bled him. We like to bleed the kingfish because their flesh is quite bloody otherwise. I think you definitely need to bleed them if you're going to take one home. Um, they're a lot better eating if they've been bled. Keep that one in mind next time you take a kingfish home. Another fish for the Pink Panther, 100 gram OTL today. Wrapped. We're so stoked. There we have it guys, two nice big solid white flesh fillets to take home. Pink scrap, good fun, yeah! <laughs> Pretty sweet, eh? That was a good mission. Yep. Tell them about the stingray. As we were um, getting out of the boat, stingray just boosted past at the campsite. Pretty cool, so we're hoping he hangs around and we've left the fish frame there for him to eat, so... Whether he eats it or everything else eats it, who yeah. knows? Or a shark turns up. Yeah, or maybe a shark will turn up. That'll be cool. Looks like you've done this before. That's the first time. Oh. That looks good. Yeah. W for wild. We'll come back down and check these fish frames and skins and stuff later and see what's coming here and eating them. Dinner. Yeah. How good does that look? So good. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's not going anywhere. Cool. Shelter spot just out of the wind. We're using this flax bush just to be a wind blocker. Should be good, eh? Mm -hmm. We're going to crumb the fish with this here lemon, cracked pepper crusting crumbs. Sounds we tried it the other day so we opened it at home so we thought we might as well bring it. Sounds crummy. <laughs> You're crummy. <laughs> so I put it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to cut the fish into small little cubes. Get out wasp. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah he's not really scared of anything. No. I'm pretty sure I hit him with a fry pan before as well. Did you? My mum told me if I get bitten by a European wasp, I'll die. Leslie. Yeah, I'm not sure how true that is. But your mum's just looking out for you, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your mum yeah. loves you. Into the crumbs. All right, we're ready. For all the people wondering about my knife, Wildside Knives, good friend of mine, he makes them. Super nice knives. Wildside Knives. Have you got the tongs? The tops of my feet are burnt, eh? Oh no. Mm. This looks really good, eh? Yeah, I'm excited about it. Sizzling away, guys, just what you want to hear after a big day. I wonder if anything's down at that fish frame yet. Blackback gull. Yeah, he's there. The fish just flaked apart. Make sure that when I was a kid I wasn't dreaming when I used to think these were delicious. I require more, please, sir. More, you say? Yeah. Is there enough for you? Yeah. Go try a bit. Try a bit before you wrap it up. I'll try this bit because it's got less filling on filling? Stuffing. That is really, really good. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. I recommend eating red coloured fish all the time. Tell us what you think. Alright, ready? 
I'll do sure. the same, same strat. Little coating as possible. Real good. Mm. That's like a mix between snapper and flounder, I reckon. It's like real flaky, white, flaky flesh. All right, let's get into it. I don't even know if I'm going to put sauce on it, are you? No, I don't think you need it. Delicious. Mm. That is good. Out of 10, what would you give this? I'm going to go 9. 9 out of 10. Woo! J.E. Wilds 9 out of 10 rating. That's probably a good idea. It's probably something that could be quite interesting. What if on our episodes, every day, Catherine and I got a different random species in amongst all the other stuff that we do. Our kingfish, our diving, our spearfishing, our exploring, in amongst all that, every episode we should try and get a different species and taste test it for you guys. We'll find out all the good ones to eat and all the not so good ones to eat. I don't know anyone that's done that. We should definitely try that. I mean, it's a great idea. It'll be, be quite exciting trying to like hunt down new species and new fish that you know you don't normally get mm -hmm. all right guys that's what we're doing so every episode from now on oh see that fish mm -mm. just by the boat oh oh, nice. oh. oh look oh, wow. oh. oh get the kingy rod get the king rod oh, oh look at that Probably hiding under the boat. Ah. Why? Oh, bait fish seek shelter. Huh. How crazy was that, guys? We were literally just. There's a reef out there. Yeah, no, I think we're gone. Ah. How crazy was that, guys? We were just sitting there talking and a bust up right on the shore. Looked like Piper getting hammered by something. Either small kingies or big kawai. I don't know where they're gone now. Oh, chasing it. Yep, right there, Kevin. Oh, cool. See that? See the boil? Mmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, I wish we had our sunnies on. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Oh, I'm so excited. Crazy would it be to catch Kingy right now at camp. When I was paddling out there before, there were so many piper, which are like a small garfish, right here on the shore. Big predator fish chase those little fish this time of night in the shallows, so we should have a rod handy, Catherine. All right. I reckon. We'll get this big rod ready and then we'll get that smaller rod set up as well. Mm. We could even put a little popper on that, on your your small rod. Deal, 10 out of 10. I would love to do that. Yeah, all right, let's go back. So yeah, anyway guys, we're gonna try a new species of fish every episode. That's the goal anyway. And we will tell you if they're nice or if they're not so nice. <laughs> even the ones that you always hear about, oh, you can't eat those, we're gonna try and eat them. Good plan? I'm excited about it. I think it'll be good. Oh, well, we're gonna quickly go down and see if anything's eating those frames. Yell out if you catch one. Those frames are gone. Oh well guys, we're gonna switch the cameras off and enjoy our evening. So if anything crazy happens, we'll flick them on, but otherwise, we'll catch you guys tomorrow.